find the perimeter of this figure. Okay. Um, first thing I'm going to do is divide this figure into two parts. Okay. Make this figure one and this figure number two. Okay. And if we draw a circle that's eight across here, okay, it'll be eight across here, then I'll have, um, see, I'm, I kind of have figure number one right here. Okay. And figure number two, if I turn it upside down, it can be the bottom part of the circle. Okay. So if we combine these two figures, um, it looks something like this, like a circle. Okay. And if I want to find the distance around a circle to find the perimeter, okay, I'll find the perimeter of a circle is pi times the diameter. This is also called the circumference of the circle. All right. So the distance around figure number one and figure number two is going to be the distance around a circle. Okay. And um, that's pi times the diameter. Okay. Now the perimeter then is uh, 3.14 for pi. And the diameter we learned up here by looking at this one figure right here is 8. Okay. And now if I take 3.14 times 8, I'll have my perimeter. It's going to be 25.12 and we have feet. Okay. Now that's the uh, circumference of this circle. It's the perimeter only of the circle, not of this figure, but of the circle. Okay. And if you look at the circle, uh, if you put it in red, okay, put the circle in red, uh, the top part of this circle would be the red part of this, okay? And uh, the bottom part of the circle would be uh, this distance here, okay? So now I have um, around the circle gives me this length here and this length here, okay? And if I combine these two parts, I have 2512, okay? So that's the red part of this figure here, all right? Now, we have to find the distance across here, add the distance across there, which is 8, okay? So this distance is 8, and we're going to do it again, aren't we? Going to go across the circle again, right there is another what? Another 8, okay? So if I go this red part and this red part, I'll have 25, 12. And then if I combine my two green parts, I'll have 16. When I add 16 and 25, 12, I end up with the perimeter of the whole figure, which is 41.12 feet.